All right, we have two more quadratics to check out. Um, so hopefully these examples are helping us remember all the definitions. I know I threw a lot of definitions on you. Um, and so hopefully the examples are kind of piecing all those together. So let's relate the new definition to transformations. So let's say we start with um, y equals x squared, right? We've mastered that. And let's start with transformations. So again, I like to work from the inside out. So our parent function is y equals x squared. And I'm gonna start from the inside. So x plus six means we move left or right. Remember it's opposite, so we're gonna move left six. So we're gonna to shift to the left six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I, I'm gonna work my way out, so let's see. Now I hit the negative, the negative reflects it upside down, right? So we'll reflect upside down, which is reflect about the x-axis. Right, reflect the orange one, the current one. We're making motions um, from each one. And so then from the pink one, right now our new one, the minus four tells me to shift down four. And that'll be my graph, one, two, three, four. And we'll notice this matches the vertex um, definition. So where's my vertex from the transformations? So it's negative six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six and it's down four, so negative four, right? From transformations, we found the vertex, but we also know the vertex from that. So negative x plus six squared minus four, right? And we just learned it's x minus h squared plus k. So my h would be negative six, and my k would be negative four. So the h and k definition is really just coming from transformations. So we can kind of find it either way. And then the negative is what made it go upside down rather than right side up. Cool. Um, so now let's just, in our last example, let's combine quadratics and linear. Um, we'll find like areas in between functions in the future. So it's nice to graph them together and find where they intersect. So intersection means where are the line, where are they equal to each other? So let's graph the line first, because lines are a little easier. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So the line, y equals negative x plus four. My y-intercept is zero, four, right? That's my b value. And then my slope is negative one, which means we go down one, right one. One, 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 okay. and we'll get a line. Um, the quadratic, the quadratic's not quite in the form we're used to graphing. So you can complete the square, um, or you could just find the vertex using the new formula. So x equals negative b over 2a is my vertex. Completing the square would also find it, but I have a feeling most of us prefer this. Um, so b is 2, so negative 2, and a is 1, right there, over 2 times 1. So the vertex would be at negative 1. And then we find the y value. So negative one squared plus two times negative one, just plugging in, what's that? One minus two, negative one. So my vertex is negative one, negative one.
That's probably not enough to graph it. I know that it opens up because it's positive. Maybe I'll find the x-intercepts to help me graph. So we do x squared plus 2x equals 0. We can factor out an x, x plus 2. So my um, intercepts would be 0 and negative 2. So 0, 0, and negative 2, 0, right? The y values are 0. So 0, 0, negative 2, 0. Um, so we can sketch it. I think I might solve for the intersection before I graph so I can make sure it crosses at the right point. So the final question here was, what's the intersection? So intersections are when the two equations are equal to each other. So it will be x squared plus 2x, that's my parabola, equals minus x plus 4. So when are they equal to each other? So I'm going to move everything over to the left. So I can get one side is 0, and then we can factor. So x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals 0. So let's see, plus 4 and minus 1 equals 0. That'll give me a product of negative 4 and a sum of 3. So they actually, it looks like they intersect twice when x is negative 4 and x is 1. And then how do we find the y value? Which one do we plug into? It doesn't matter because they're the same. So I'm going to plug into the line. So negative, negative 4 plus 4, so that would be 8. And y equals negative 1 plus 4, which is 3. So negative 4, 8, and 1, 3. Um, if you plug into x squared plus 2x, you get the same answer. The whole point of the intersection is they're the same. So we get 1, 3. And then we get negative 4 and 8, which maybe is up there. And there's my parabola. And they make like a little region. They cross twice. We found two intersections because they cross twice. Um, so this was good practice with graphing. We should remember how to graph lines. Practice it if it, we don't remember. Um, graphing quadratics is a good skill. Um, you can complete the square and do transformations if you prefer. Um, but I think a lot of students like to just solve for the vertex. So that's the end of 2-4. Thanks for watching.